Hey there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. And today I'm going to show you how to make a multi-page Illustrator file, which you can then export as a PDF or uh, anything you need. But this is how we're going to do it. Go up to File, make a new document. And you're going to see here number of artboards. Let's go to, let's say, four. And here you can see uh, you know, how they'll be organized, like page one on the left, two on the right, three below it on the left and so on and so we're going to go with four and this is going to give us a grid type setup and there we go we have four pages now and just to give you a little demo on how you can edit this let's say we click on the artboard uh, tool over here and say you can even scoot them closer together after you've already created them which can be helpful Let's just put them all next to each other. Then I'll show you why you would even want to do something like that. So we're going to add a little pinstripe to the bottom, and you want that to be consistent over all of the pages. So now you've got that across two, and I'm going to control C and V or command C and V on a Mac, and copy and paste that, put it down here too. Now you've got one, two, three, four pages. Show you another little thing I'm going to do here. Open up this generic logo I created. I'm going to copy that. And let's go back over here. I'm going to paste it. Stick it right there. Let's get it down. You can see why I'm going to do this in a second. So I've got one. I'm going to option and drag this over. Neat little trick as well. Now I've got those. I'm going to click both of these by holding shift. I'm going to option drag down. I've got even more. And just for the demonstration, I'm going to type 1, 2, 3, and 4. Again, I'm going to option drag over there. And if you just double click on that, lets you do that. Another neat little trick. So I'm going to three option drag over here. Hold and shift to that keeps it in a straight line. And four. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four. You can have kind of a consistent feel really easy by doing it this uh, using this method. Now I'm just going to go here, save as and I'm going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to put PDF test and save it as a PDF. Yes. Now, let's move this out of the way. Go check this out. I'm going to double click this. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to open in preview by default. Well, it doesn't have to, but I have it set up like that. And uh, check this out. Page one page two, page three, scroll it up and down. There you go. Multi-page PDF right out of Illustrator. And thanks for watching. If you're into these videos, make sure to hit subscribe and check out our full blog at digitaldesigntips.com.